Hey everybody, Seven here. Thank you so much for joining me in the Oxbow. Um, we got teleported, which means we're probably starting our day a little bit later than we should be. Okay, it's actually only about 7.30. I was expecting to be like 9 or something. Uh, right. Animals with no feed. Okay, good. I was like, please don't let anything be damaged right now. Right, we don't even have anybody there. Uh, now we are still looking for two agricultural people. And we are still looking to get ourselves self-sufficient. Uh, self um, every house should be occupied right now though, right? No, right, we do have the two houses. Okay, so we've got two houses ready and waiting. All we need to do is get somebody to get in here. Um, it's spring, so whatever grains are gonna go down should be going down, because we do have at least one farmer working on that. Yeah, the village is slowly developing. Listen, I'm, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Um, first things first, we should probably pay taxes. Oh, God. That's a lot of building I did. Two grand, and we've got 900 bucks. Uh, let's see just how much copper can save us. And if we just get just a, a bajillion copper bolts right here. Now, first off, I probably need a couple myself. No, oh, we've got chicks being born. Yay. Um, we don't have any, too many roosters going on here, do we? No, no, but one of the new chicks is a sell for eight. And that sells for 33, and I think the roosters can sell for less. Yeah. Well, that chick is taking up animal feed. And waiting for the difference between eight bucks and 15 bucks isn't really much, so. See ya, chick. Now, let's, uh, let's get in here and see what kind of resource we got. Okay, well, the answer is not much. I can't believe I didn't check this. That bandit that we redeemed last uh, last season here, he's a level seven extractor, and I had been bouncing him around, getting limestone, getting stone, getting basically whatever it was I needed, logs and planks at one point. He was still on one of the firewood ones, which is why we got so crazy out of control on the firewood. So my adjustments to that may have been premature. What that also resulted in was we don't have nearly as much copper as I was expecting to have, so the copper bolt situation might not be as insanely overpowered as I was expecting it to be. Why are both of my sticks dead suddenly? What the fuck just happened? Okay, cool that we just got the workshop level 2. I'm not really sh I'm not really sure if there's anything that we want out of it. Uh, okay, yeah, there's a lot of clay stuff that we can get. You know, clay vials sell okay but right now we do not have the extraction people to divert off of any wood or any kind of copper or anything like that just yet and we also don't have any production people that we can divert off of making copper items and and hose and sickles and etc so our wood situation so our wood situation is probably not quite as good as i think it's going to be uh, but we're going to rake in the copper, and hopefully that'll turn us into making more bolts. I'm going to run across the street, sell what I got. We did loot a good chunk of just empty bottles and arrows and a couple of bows and stuff like that. We can dump off as best we can and see what kind of cash we got. Very doubtful that it's going to get us the 2300 that we need. Uh, another thing that occurred to me was my crossbow is a hair's breadth away from blowing up in my hand. And if we get into any more fights with the continuation and finishing of that uh, soon-to-be mayor's side quest here, that thing might blow on me. What the hell? What is happening? Well... I am experiencing a very strange bug right now. Uh, I've gotten hit with it twice so far. So when I finish up the copper bolts, both of my sticks died. Couldn't look around, couldn't walk away, couldn't move. Uh, so then I tried to move it over to the mouse. Moving the mouse around wouldn't make him look around, and WSAD didn't move him either. So, I don't know, and it's happened twice. All right, we've got plenty of water, some okay amounts of food for the town. I've got a good amount of food and water on me. We should be okay. The blacksmith is currently flagging for not enough copper bars. That's concerning, but with 
with our level seven extractor going berserk on the copper ore, we should be able to rectify that real fast. All right, let's get in here. We'll sell off the best we can and we'll see just how bad off we are. How do you uh, Cause like I said, there is a, a good chunk of just random hodgepodge going on over here. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll keep forty of them. Oh wow! Okay, we we did much better than I expected. Just bankrupted a, a townsfolk, which is fantastic. Uh, who else we got lying around here? Taylor, where? Oh, cause you're not <laughs> you're not a starting location yet. Hi. All right, what else we got to sell? Yeah, that 3% wooden crossbow is real concerning, and I don't think we can make a new one yet. Yeah, so we can make all the all the bolts over here, but we can't make the crossbow. Oh, yeah. Damn, look at that. And that is a ways off. Oh, that's what we got. We didn't get the... <laughs> I saw something unlock when I was having that, that bug over there. No, it was the donkey shelter. Uh very doubtful that we're going to have the money to be able to sink into that. Also, we're $70 short. You're killing me with this $70 nonsense. Uh, we should have excess tools. Uh, I'm pretty sure I got the numbers wrong on like the shovels or something. So, okay, yikes. We are way off on the stone pickaxes, but everything else we were a little off on as well in the positive. So, we at least got some stuff. Definitely enough to make 70 bucks. So let's get these taxes paid. We'll check Piastovia's campfire people first off. Then we'll run out, check on the kid, see how he's doing. The good kid, not mustachio dink face over here. All right, Taylor should still have a good chunk of cash. Hi. Uh, what do we got? Yes. Nah, we should probably keep one of them on me. All right, we're okay. Oh, hi. Yeah, yeah you waiting for your... Uh... How is life treating you? Yeah, great. Yeah, your favorite time of year. Listen, we're going to fight, aren't we? Good luck. We're, we're going to fight at some point. All right, farm sheds out of fertilizer. We got to get these agriculture people in. Even if I'm having to supplement and turn the manure into fertilizer myself. Oh, no. Okay, we're we're going to cascade now. What's going on? Nuts. Okay. I have a feeling that this smithy, even cranked 100%, is probably not producing the bars that... Oh, geez, you're 18 and you're flagged. All right, so 18 plus 4... So that's going to be 22 and change, probably about 23, which means, yeah, you're definitely not getting it done. Okay, let's get the people. Oh, man, level three production is very tempting, Sometimes but we don't... I've got a feeling the whole world freezes for a moment. <laughs> As if somebody calls this. Render Cube doesn't always break the fourth wall, but when they do, they do it perfectly. Oh, thank you. Um, I don't suppose one of you two want to do me the honor of also being amazing farmers. Survival. I doubt very strongly we're going to want anybody that's going to be survival. Like the entire playthrough. I, I don't think I'm going to be running any kind of uh, a position that's going to need a survival job. So, right, let's get you into one of the empties. And right off the get-go, let's get you taking care of those pigs. There we go. And don't forget to actually turn the thing on. All right, good to go. Um, why am I looking at four? Wait, male, female, female, female. Why did I have it stuck in my head that I needed two? One of each. I actually only really needed a guy. Oh crap, now we're deficient two guys. All right, well, let's take our super weak sauce crossbow. We'll get back out to town, get with this kid, see what the what the conclusion of his story is. And maybe we can get some more people in that town. 
right, I'll see you guys in Klonica. All right, well, I just realized the kit never made it home. I got sent home and teleported by the gods of Render Cube. He's still out there waiting for me next to uh, that cave. While we're here, yeah, there's a job right in front of me coming at me. Um, hi. Oh, he's here again. Can I help you with something? You seem annoyed. I'm always like that since one piggy in my herd is constantly wandering out from the rest. Fortunately, it always goes east. I'm tired of picking it up over and over. Could you do that for me at least once? Yeah, sure. What does the, what does the piggy look like? Small, three years old, soon to be four. Whistlaw. And he's a curious little piglet. Remind him to come back and not to stray far from the village. Many thanks. Wait. No. Oh, what have I gotten myself into? Come out, come out wherever you are. Oh, this is going to be a frickin' scavenger hunt thing, isn't it? Um, okay, campfire people, find the pig, go get the kid. Oh, by the way, it's 4.30 in the afternoon on day one. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Only three? Only one guy? This could be bad. Oh, and he's gross, too. Alright, I'm guessing this is going to be another one of those zone type of ones here. Oh, or not. What? I... Hello? A kid, I could have guessed. Uh, I... A kid, I could have guessed. Are you playing a game? Sure I am. Your mother told me to remind you to come back home. I won't go. I'm playing hide-and-seek with my toy horse. His name is Chestnut. No one will find him ever. Is he lost? When I find him, do you promise to go home? Oh, you can try, but you won't win. No one knows that he hid in the wood piles. Of course not, boy, but let me try. Okay. A little abuse is just a guess. It's nothing of interest in the pile, but a few worms fleeing terror is rot and a rotten apple stub. Okay. You stand in front of a freshly chopped pile of firewood, a scent of resin lightly teasing your nostrils. Search for a horse. The pile is quite homogenous, consisting of almost exclusively of similar sized chunks of firewood, apart from a single long stick, which catches your eye immediately. Okay, let's just have a look at it. This isn't a random stick that fell from a tree. It's been carefully worked to serve as the spine of a toy. You notice that it's slightly worn in the area where a child placed the toy between his legs during play. Aha! Um, then why am I still inspecting other piles? Alright, let's, let's, let's keep this going a little bit. I like being thorough. Still gun-shy over what happened last fall. You approach a heap of wooden waste. It contains a variety of broken objects thrown away by the villagers of Klonica. Alright, anything in here looking like a toy? You're sitting through the garbage, picking up discarded and defective planks, broken cartwheels, when an inconspicuous little piece of wood catches your eye. Okay, take a look at it. It has a short, carefully polished wooden stick. It looks like a toy horse handle. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is being thorough going to bite me? This pile would have been lying here for a while. It's overgrown by plants, and the wood is visibly older and more fragile. Yeah, rip up the ivy and look around. There's a small space under the top layer of wood. Okay. Aaron comes across a large piece of wood that doesn't match the rotten old logs around it. This piece is a strange shape that you can easily grasp and pull out. Oh, with the head of a toy that's missing its stick and handle. Oh, so we had to find all the pieces parts. Wait, kid, why was it disassembled? I told you it couldn't be found. Well, as a matter of fact, I did find it. But it's in pieces. It's impossible, you cheat. I don't want a broken toy to throw it away. Don't worry, it's only three pieces. Ta-da! See, I already put it back together. Oh, it's fixed, but... Now I won't be getting a new... You broke your toy, hid it in three piles so that you would get a new toy. You suck. Alright, calm down, kid. I'll keep the toy... Well, that would be enabling him. I don't know. Yeah, actually. And then you can ride around with a friend. Left too. Yeah, that seems like an even better idea. Chestnut looks tired. Let's take him to mom. Sure, I don't want you to hurt yourself along the way galloping on a worn out toy. I should go home now. Mom's probably worried. Besides, I'm hungry. I'm sure she has some salty snacks. 
I'm sure she does. Don't stray too far away from home again. Well, that went differently than I expected. This whole season's gonna go weird, isn't it? This whole season's gonna go weird, isn't it? Hi. With my little pig. Yeah, from now on, he should stay close to the settlement. So he won't stray anymore? What did you do? Or rather, what was so interesting back there? Yeah, I'll keep it. That, that's fine. He's sorted. He, he knows what he's doing. Yes, kids are like little pigs. They like to dig in dirt and dig at all sorts of gross things. Except these salty snacks is my gratitude. Sure thing. It's a family recipe. If you fancy more, I can sell you some extra treats. Prepare them every season. Oh, cool. Okay, well. Bless this poor kid in the absolute dead of night. And we're probably going to be linking back up with him in the dead of night. This poor kid. Right, I'm going to head out to link up with him and I'll meet you guys in a minute. Uh, hey kid, I am really, really sorry about that. Uh, is there anything else that we want to search for right now? So what you found in there? Is it him? I can't believe it. This looks like an intentional burial. It doesn't make any sense. The cloth somewhat resembles a cloak, though the color is faded. But that's nothing. Look at the bones. They're all in terrible condition. Was my father torn to pieces by some wild animals? Was that his end, or did someone help him die? Yeah, I'm leaning towards this one. The second we searched it, they said it, it resembled a barrow, so... Would you give it to me, please? You're holding it wrong. It's so light. Forgive me. You're still in possession of the mysterious axe. Take it in Needon. No one will tell you more about it than him. Even if he doesn't talk so much in general. I'd never expect our little trip to the woods to end like this. I need some time alone now. That's understandable. Well, let's, uh, let's go wake some people up. Yeah, you guys thought that I didn't come prepared with another torch, did you? Let's go wake this guy up. See you in a bit. Um. What? You have very nice beds for... And a large house. Oh, wow. Yeah, you got a really nice place over here for a bachelor. Also, sorry for waking up in the middle of the night, my man. That's appropriate. I mean, I'm sure that you're scripted to say that at any time, but... Yeah, no reason to get angry. I just wanted to ask you about this old axe. It stands out from all the tools that are in the valley, or the village here. You hold this haft and hit with its head. Try not to hurt yourself. We don't have a barber surgeon to sew you up. Now leave me alone. I don't know how to swing an axe. I wanted to ask you about this specific one. Why me? All right, we'll, we'll, we'll be polite to this guy. I do feel bad for waking him up in the middle of the night. Because you're the expert in the field, of course. We came across a tool that could have been wielded by one of the local lumberjacks. Oh, that's bollocks. Only a damn fool would lose or sell his heirloom. We treat your tools with great deliberation. It can either wear down during work or be passed down when you die. There is no other option. How can you not be familiar with the principal rules of our society? I'm bored with this conversation already. Listen, man, this is somebody's axe. <laughs> Stop pissing me off and look at the damn thing. Please, there's a boar symbol on the head of it. You see, it's very rusty, but still visible. Maybe you know who it belongs to. It can't be. That's a fake. It's outrageous. Give me that weapon at once. So you do recognize it. Of course you do. It's mine. How could it be? It must be their fault. I'm sure of it. Bloody Wardmer's men. They must have stolen it. Now don't play any games and give it back. That's a fit. First, tell me why it ended up in the cottage of a missing hunter deep in the woods. How would I know that? Stop pushing your luck too far with these allegations. The rusty eggs will end up in your skull set. Listen, pal. I got 3% left on this crossbow. You don't you don't want to start anything. Listen, I, I've been awfully polite, but I, we can turn this conversation real fast. All right, yeah, we, we, we've done the overly polite bit a bit much here, so... This axe is his, now. Curse that bastard, he's too molly to wipe his own ass. But I should have known that the whole bitch is behind it. 
This cursed family will never stop tormenting me. What? Yeah, maybe we'll talk some more when you calm down. That was odd. Wait for the next noon. Um. Okay, we've got just shy of 400 bucks. Skocky has two jobs. Skocky might have... Oh my god. How did I screw up so bad? Uh, where's the guy? Here, hi. How are you? I need a lift. Yeesh. Alright, I guess first things first, let's check the campfire people. Oh boy, okay, there's two guys. Alright. You're, you're really, really spoon-feeding me to be the pro, uh, production. Oh, no. Oh, wait, there's another person. Oh, it's a lady, though. All right, good. She's useless. I don't, I don't feel bad about leaving her then. Oh, level 3 extraction and level 3 hunt? Jeez, man. Oh, also, sorry about how dark it was there a minute ago. I mean, it is still going to be dark now, but... I guess at some point during the winter I had turned down the brightness because it was glaringly bright. Oh crap, you can't wake anybody up. Mm. You know the rules. You can wake people up in the middle of a quest not to start one. Wait. The kid has a quest. Okay. Um, It's midnight. We could try to hit one more town. Alright, it is a long, long trip over some very sketch oh. terrain. Because if I take the roads, it's going to be way too long. So let's see if we can just get a straight shot to Astoya. Alright, I'll see you guys over there. Oh, what did you hear? Oh, nice. Okay. We're going to need all of this. Because I have a feeling we need to be doing some fast traveling. Oh, 65 bucks. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, several containers here. Hey, you know, these salted meats aren't bad. They, uh, they dry out a little bit, because, you know, salted meat, they would. They adjusted them to have a, a buff that makes you use less food. So, that part's cool. Uh, but we are still a ways away from Astoya. Alright, I'm gonna keep legging it here. I'll see when we get to town. Alright, we're coming up on town here. But the problem is, it's 4am. So, I don't... Given that I'm having that weird control bug... I don't want to try to chance it and have everybody not wake up. So I'm going to try to avoid actually going into town. Seriously? Man, the RNG is just not with me today. There's nothing like the yeah. Of the cozy fire. Oh, level really 3 production, that's great. Man, you guys are really, really pushing the survival on me here, aren't you? Oh, another level 3 farmer and level 3 extraction. Jeez. There's only the one job here, too. I would like to... I mean, since... I mean, it'd be a shame to run all the way out to Skaki that has two jobs and not take those two jobs. All right, well, I guess I'm just going to wait around until everybody wakes up, hopefully wakes up, and I'll see you guys in a couple hours. Okay, it's 8 a.m. My people are up, which ideally should mean that these people are up, right? Please be up. I uh, want to take this job, and I have things to sell. Oh, don't glitch out at me. No. Oh, we're we're gonna be we're gonna be having a rough season. Okay, some people are up somehow. Hi. Uh, buy anything. Do I do I care about this? We, I've got plenty of food on me. Although it's only nine bucks. Whatever. Oh. Oh. Oh, fifty-five percent less. Holy crap. Those are pretty good. Wait a minute, why do I still have this? Was I supposed to give that? I'm not selling that. Oh man, maybe maybe because it's a kid as well? All right, this one's a kid too. Yeah, what's with all the kids having jobs this season? Wait. No, neither of you are kids. Ah, oh, lady, get out of bed. Oh, there's something you don't see every day. All right, it's 8.50. I'm gonna give it 10 more minutes which is going to be, like, actually two more minutes. Oh, man. Um. Don't. Don't do it. Just don't do it. All right. It's after nine. Come on, guys. I I need you to cut it out. 
All right, just the fact that there's two quests over there. I got 420 bucks. We can at the very least make it there. I don't know if we can fast travel out of there. We might just go over, accept the two jobs. If we can get them done in town, we'll get them done. And if not, we'll just accept them, run back out to the kid with the ax. How are you? Ah, I need a ride. Okay, we might actually be able to do all the travel. All right, now please, please don't glitch out. Okay, people are moving. Great, thank you. Oh, jeez. Um, yeah. Oh, hey, you're the kid. How can I help you, sir? Actually, how can I help you? There's an ogre in my privy. Uh, an ogre? I've seen it for so long, and I don't want another privy. The other ones are stinky. Uh, don't worry, I'm an ogre privy sanitation... Oh, sa yeah. I, I, I do ogres. Um, hi. How have you been? May your days be many and your troubles be few. My name is Gilbert, and I'm responsible for the well-being of the people of Skaki. Oh, nice to meet you. What can I help you with today? You, what can I help you with, actually? I think you might be right. I've noticed how much you've done for my people. Thank you for that. I'm usually not the type that easily asks for help, but I worry about my son. I think he might be up to something bad. <laughs> Talking about the kid with the funny hairdo? Okay, well, this place even. Isn't he a little young for you to be that worried? No, no, that's Lastic. My and Debraka's son. I'm talking about Otger. He's... I remarried after his mother passed. Sorry for your loss. I don't like to think about that part of my life. I came to the Oxbow during the Great War. I was a soldier back then. Man. Who doesn't have that story here? Young, naive, and enticed by the promise of glory, women, and coin. Yeah. You may have heard the Piastovia was built in the King's Order to commemorate the victory in the final battle of the war. I fought in that battle, but on the losing side. You're one of the raiders? It wasn't how we called ourselves, but we were no freedom fighters either. War is never noble. It's about land, riches, and most important of all, power. But yes, I won't try to rewrite history. We were the attackers. Why are you telling me all this? After the end of the war, I was one of the few who surrendered and were held captive. We were given a simple choice, mine or die. I didn't have long to think about my answer. That was actually how Skaki came to life. It was a penal colony at first. That's where I met my wife, my first wife, Mia. Oh, so we're in Australia. You may think that being shackled in a dirty cave and working to exhaustion weren't the most romantic of circumstances, but what can I say? It seems that even a rock bottom is a good place to find love as any. I like your attitude. She's a great archer, an amazing friend, and my true soulmate. And through our love, Otger was brought into the world. The only child with pure blood of my ancestors running through his veins that was ever born in the Oxbow. The old Castellan took it as a sign that enough time had passed for our crimes to be forgiven. Each of the freed prisoners left the next day, but we stayed. The Oxbow had already become our home. Yeah, I had no idea you'd been through so much. I don't even think we've spoken yet. We were happy, very close with each other. But Otker and I grew apart after Mia's death. Even more so after I remarried. He never accepted that I was trying to replace her. But I wasn't. I never would. I just wanted to keep on living. Years have passed. I thought that all his rage and frustration that was boiling under Otker's skin would be gone. But it didn't happen. And I'm afraid it only grew worse. He stopped coming to work some time ago. I need to check up on him, see what he's up to. No problem, I'm good at solving other people's drama, except when I get their wife killed. I'm never gonna let that one down. Okay, ogre time, that's gotta sound, that's gonna be easy, right? Little kid has some imaginary thing that they're afraid of. Should be no problem. Outhouse. Uh, man, listen. Oh, it's gonna be a rough season, isn't it? I'm hearing some unpleasant noise from inside the privy. Hello? I'm in. I'm sorry for blocking the privy, but I was in need. I better go somewhere else and may take a while. Okay, a digestive problem? How'd you guess? Wait a second. You bring me something for poisoning. Okay, I can get you. Oh my god. Ocean of instant cure. You have any idea how much did it... Oh, that's so expensive. Also, there's literally no one in town that's going to sell that. 
We have a cook. There's no way you sell po uh, po potions here, is there? No. Best have a good day. Crap. Man, I thought this, this one was supposed to be easy. Okay, let's try the mayor's son. I have a feeling it would be striking out all over the place. At least the other kid, the kid up north. We did okay by him, I think. Um, how the hell do I get up there? Oh boy. Why do you live so high up from everybody else? Also, how did you get a house with two doors? Hi. No entry. Who are you? Bunch of business scram. Well, it is my business. A friend of Otker's let me through. Yeah, I'm going behind that door with or without your help. I get a job to stand here and let no one in. Got it? I might be a paid thug, but I'm loyal to the employer. <laughs> a loyal to the employer paid thug. So you're loyal to the sale. Now you speak my language. As a respected businessman, I accept various kinds of payment, but usually the classic foods, food, or cash. I can't back out and access my menu. I don't remember. I think I sold all the wine that I had. If I go for food, he's going to want something specific. All right, damn it. How much How much you want? I don't want any coins. I want you to collect my debt for me. Nasper owes me around 1,000 coins. I knew it sounded too easy. All right, I'll be back. Uh, whoa. Watch that first step. Jeez. So wait, it doesn't have two doors. Render cube, what the hell am I looking at? Ah, damn it. I was hoping that barrel was going to have some. I don't know what's going on over here, but I want it. Like, I, I want whatever whatever this guy has. That's not searchable. Nuts. Oh, this is going to get... This is going to get sticky in a hurry. Uh, hi. Oh, this is going to get bad. Hello. Oh, jeez. All right. Wouldn't have opened it up quite that way, but... Let's go for it. Dalton sent me for his debt. I told him I need more time. I'm, I just healed my leg. It cost me a fortune to go to the barber surgeon. And I just started working again. I barely have enough for food. Oh, god damn it. I owe this town. I owe everyone in this town after I killed a lady. Yeah. I'll help you out. Just promise you'll help somebody else when you get... Ugh. Did kindest person ever come across? Hey, kindness is a choice. Remember that. Okay, we only need to raise a grand with the $189 that I've got. Uh, plus we wanted to have fast travel. Oh wait, 189 bucks is not going to fast travel me anywhere. It's definitely not going to get me all the way to Klonika, is it, my man? How are you? Oh, just. Actually, we can go to Piastovia. And this is why I always build next to a major town. I've built in a number of locations around the valley, valley, like that valley. And every time I build there, I always try to get myself as close as I can to some kind of some type of neighboring village. Because as of right yet, you can't make your own wagon here. So it's really beneficial for you to have a fast travel location that you can just get to your own town. Okay, so right now, we probably don't have a whole ton of copper ingots, but I would hazard to guess we're probably drowning in copper ore. I can slam a whole bunch of that out, find out what those flags are for, make a whole bunch of crap, get back on my feet financially, hopefully get enough to fast travel a couple spots, pay off the grand, also buy a potion. Have my eye on some Lady, have you seen the last, like, last, like, nine months? It's been a rough go. Okay, that is exactly what I want to see. Fantastic. All right, we can smelt the crap out of this. Um, actually, give me a bunch of sticks and feathers too. I mean, we need the production technology anyway. Actually, after just checking, we're less than 100 away from getting the upgraded blacksmith. Oh, and what that means is it's going to come with extra slots. So we would only have to build houses, not have actual more buildings to build. Wait a minute. I'm trying to think. I might be wrong on that. Because there's three blacksmiths. I know I've gotten this wrong before, where I expected going from one to two to give me an extra person. I'm suddenly second-guessing that. Yep, did it again. Huh. Okay, well that's 
awkward. So I guess what that means is every single time I get done making something, I'm going to have to drop a quick save and then a quick load. And this seems to be the only workaround I've got for it just yet. Yep, there it is again. Well, the loading screen just said the Oxbow is not what it seems at first glance. Boy, howdy, they weren't kidding. All right, so 100 copper bolts at 13 bucks a piece should be $1,300. The problem is the number that you see listed is never what you're going to actually get for it. Not without some serious diplomacy skills, which I don't have yet. But even still, with that being close-ish to $1,300, it should be enough to pay off the debt and hopefully get the potion. But that's going to leave nothing in reserves for getting fast travel around. Uh, let's see if we got anything to fix that. Oh my god, they are drinking a lot. Um, yeah... Yeah, we'll take the hammers. I don't imagine myself building a whole lot this season. Even though I really probably should be. Alright, that's... That's a good chunk of money, actually. We also got very little technology off of making those hundred bolts. Why are we flagging for four? Oh, crap. Oh, the blacksmith isn't making enough... We need bowls. What do you mean we don't have any... What do you mean we don't have any bowls? Oh, my God. Okay, I'm just about to fix this, and the lights just came on. Which means I totally missed my noon deadline for the other kid. Now, I assumed that the people were going to be eating and emptying the bowls as fast as the kitchen would have needed. So does that mean that we're profiting on food somehow? Like, if he's running himself out of bowls, that means that there should be bowls of food. And scrambled eggs and porridge and that kind of action in here, right? Man, we're, we're drowning in eggs. So yeah, we should be able to be just cranking scrambled eggs out right now. We've got a lot of them. Okay, near as I can tell, it's just a matter of everybody's eating all of the oatmeal. I, I don't know. They have strange preferential treatments. They'll, they'll target whatever the next item on the list is voraciously. And unless you shut that off, they'll just eat it the second something comes in. I guess we're just getting a stockpile of the eggs because nobody's eating them until all of the uh, oatmeal is gone. Which I mean, I'm not, not really complaining about. It's like, whatever, just eat whatever you want. But it would be beneficial, I guess, if they could balance things a bit better. Hi, don't go to bed. You really can't go to bed. I need you to not go to bed. Hi. I have no idea if I've bankrupted you yet or how much cash you have on you. Okay, not as much as I would have hoped. All right, you're broke. Have a good day. Um, quickly. Oh, herbalist. Oh God, herbalist. That is definitely an individual we got to talk to. Hi. Hey, old friend. Potion of what now? Okay, Potion of Instant Cure, for one. Oh, wow. Okay, I was expecting that to be... Now, I've been seeing update after update about prices being adjusted, and this went up, and that went down, and... Okay. 700 bucks for fast travel. Where do we need to be? Alright. Skocky. Get to Skocky. Double time. I haven't built a damn bit of anything. Alright. You first. I got your cash. Yeah. Seems to be all there. A deal is a deal. I'm lucky for you. No one has offered me a better one. Let's go a little John Wick. Be seeing ya. Okay, don't let me stand in your way. Alright. Yeah, you guys keep thinking that that's gonna be the last one. No, no, no. I'm prepared this time. Well, in some ways. Oh, what do we have here? Oh. None of this is considered stealing. Well, first off, especially that crossbow is mine. Hello. Well, if none of this is stealing, then I'm guessing you're not on the up and up. Oh, 100% iron spiked cudgel. That is money. Yeah, don't mind me, pal. Just casually uh, robbing you. 
Well, it did cost me a frickin' grand to get in here. Nah, yeah, all wooden ones. That's fine. They sell. Although, not gonna lie, my man. For uh, being such a questionably reputable individual, you have a lot of weaponry back here. Also, how did you not hit the target from 12 feet away? Uh, I'll give you some lessons on that. Oh, wait, there's not even anybody to talk to back here. Who are you people? Hey, you're not Otker. I'm pretty sure you're not, eh? Who are you calling dumb? What? Who are you calling dumb? Perfect. You shouldn't be in here, and I shouldn't talk to you. Not with the boss around. Oh, you mean Otker? Who do you think sent me here? I don't know. Leave me alone. Get lost. You're not supposed to be here. I can beat you an arm blast. Now I know why Atka says you're his favorite. Nice try. Oh, Gilbert, I, I got some bad news for you, my man. I didn't find him in his house. But yeah, Otker seems to be training some thugs. Yeah, it's worse than you thought. I know how angry he was, but I didn't. We must find him, quick. Well, is your son. Where could he be? Someone who might be able to help. Helena is hugely engaged in our village's life, and very observant as well. I presume it's because she's out for my job. And do you trust her? I'm not afraid of her. She's a good person. She just doesn't agree with my way of leading the village. Speak with her. She might be more willing to help out a stranger than me. I trust your judgment. Let's see what she knows. I feel for this guy. Hey, lady. Oh, you must be one of the miners. I was wondering if you knew anything about Otker's whereabouts. Perhaps. Oh, how do we play this? Would you mind sharing? The son is as bad as the old man. None of them should lead. And who should? <laughs> Let me guess you. Well, listen, I don't care about any of that. I just want to help a father get through to his son. Oh, man, listen. I did not factor in this much. Okay. Thank you for your cooperation. Man, I try to be nice and polite. There's a lot of people... A lot of people in some of these towns are just downright dinks. Although, I did kill a lady, so... Oh my god, I almost left. I almost left. That... That could have been bad. Uh... Not an ogre. <laughs> How you doing in there? Never better. I'm still stuck here just because it's the best privy I've ever been to. You have the potion. Yeah, I'll leave it at the door. Uh, do you know what poisoned you? Definitely that meat pie ate. The taste was a bit suspicious, but I was hungry and on the road. There wasn't much room for being picky. Who gave you the meat pie? Local cook. I think her name started with a B. I'm sure she was cooking with filthy hands. I think someone should take a closer look at the kitchen. I always cook and eat with dirty hands. I deliberately actually avoid that because poisoning sucks. Uh, maybe there's something wrong with the meat she had. Yeah, you better warn her against giving anyone this meat pie because soon all privies in Skaki will be blocked. I'll talk to her. Okay, let's get this finished up. Hopefully wake up the good little girl in the middle of the night. Yeah, still got more in the backup. Oh, ironically, I think... Oh, yeah, you're the kid that sent me on this whole sleigh right in the first place. Uh, hey, lady, we gotta talk about meat pies. Best pies around, what can I do for you? Actually, pies are the reason I was sent here. One of your clients would like to raise a complaint. I mean, frankly speaking, I'm not entirely sure. He didn't introduce himself, he was behind the privy doors. And what did he eat? Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna go full tilt. A meat pie. Maybe the meat was a bit undercooked or rotten. I always check the quality of my ingredients and never serve raw meat. But I remember selling a special meat pie not so long ago. I assure you that he'll be fine, that he deserved it? What did he do to attract such a ruthless act of revenge? He behaved as if he owned the place. He was haggling, even though it was clear he could afford it. It's not so easy to get under my skin, but he managed to do that. Yeah, I, I don't fully agree with the way you handled that. I mean, you could have just told him to go kick rocks. Yeah, I don't think you should have added anything to his food. It may have been very dangerous for him. I mean, this guy probably is a tool bag, because, man, listen, everybody I've met the last two, three months has been. But still, there's a right way and a wrong way to do Oh, hi. There you are. Oh, wow. Yeah, you are very well dressed, aren't you? Yeah, you're probably a... Yeah. Oh, let's see. The potion worked. 
Yes, it definitely did. Thank you so much for your help. Did you talk with the cook? <laughs> I did, and she also had some complaints. And complaints? What complaints? Listen, I don't agree with her, but I'm not going to throw her under the bus. About your behavior. Remember to never throw cooks off balance because they may make mistakes. Yeah, I'll take that advice to heart. I'm very grateful for your help. If it wasn't for you, I'd probably be stuck in that privy for eternity. I'm sure you'd do the same for me. Oh, 150 bucks. It's about time things started going my way. Alright, kid. Hey, kid. So it wasn't an ogre. I'm not sure if you're more relieved or disappointed, but the privy is all yours. Now it's also stinky. Yeah, that's kind of the thing with privies. Um, you'll need to get used to that. that. That's just how they work. Oh, boy. It's been a day. Okay, I have done an absolutely terrible Hello, job of ignoring what should have been my primary target. Let's get out to Klonika and take care of this kid. The, the one kid in the valley that I actually like right now. Uh, hey, I... I know you told me to meet at noon. It's a bit past noon. Uh, hey! Welcome. It took me a while to go over the findings. They've brought all the memories back. My father's been missing for years, and I was sure that he was gone for good. But at that moment, I felt like I lost him that day. Yeah, if you ever want to talk, I'm here for you. You don't have to bother to comfort me. I'll manage. Spending some time alone made me calm down and clear my head. How about you? Did you learn anything from my Uncle Needon? Oh wait, that's right, that guy was your uncle. Why was he such a jerk if I'm trying to answer questions about this? That sounds important. He was reluctant to speak to me at all until he realized the axe was his. The rusty weapon is his? It's hard to imagine. What could make him leave it there? He'd rather lose his hand than lose his grip on a handle. I don't know, he instantly became furious and claimed that the hunters stole it from him. Well, he could just be angry that you reminded him of losing it. It would be considered a great disgrace if he simply misplaced his axe. Did he share anything else? Not much besides grunting, threatening, and finding your mother to be the root of all evil. My mother? Why would he say that? Well, he might think that she's responsible for my every action. He still views me as a child who can't wipe his own ass without a mum's help. Oh, you must have something in common, because that's exactly how he described you. Blast him, he's useless. He was a good friend of my family once, but that's long gone. Completely forsaken us when my father went missing. Whatever. I didn't need him then, and I don't need him now. Let's forget about him. I have a delicate matter for you. There's a renowned barber surgeon residing in the main city. His name is Sedwin. We've met. The man has vast knowledge in any subject I can imagine. I witnessed him putting together a badly broken leg of one of our villagers. <laughs> I'm usually carried unconscious to the surgeon. We may have met, but I can't recall. Yeah, I can't deny him that. He's put a lot of people on their feet, but on the other hand... He did kind of assist me in killing that lady. Yeah. We do know him, though. Yes, we know him. Take my fa- The remains. Bring him back to the medic and have him examine them. I want to make sure what they are and learn more about the cause of death. Absolutely, man. Whatever you need. Well, looks like it all comes back to Piastovia. How do you do? Let's go home. Although, damn, it's 6 a.m. That means that every retailer is going to be in bed asleep, right? Oh, no. Some of them wandering. Nice. I've got nothing no. interesting to say. Uh, even though you guys are moving targets, you guys are probably heading home and will not talk to me, right? Yeah, you're going to... Damn it. Well, at least the barber surgeon will always talk to me. My very first contact in this new valley... Uh, hey man, another medical question for you. Is everything alright? Every time I come to you, no, nothing is alright. My friend entrusted me with an unusual request regarding human remains. I might be the only person in the world hit by nostalgia at the sound of those words. Even the forsaken odor that accompanied my experiments seems pleasant in my memories. Bloody ignorance always come to ruin everything. Give me, I'm babbling. Oh, my man, you... Okay. Where's the body? That's all I have. Here you go. The rattling was driving me insane. And the other one seemed a little too snarky. Now it's quite disappointing. There's not much to examine here. Well, which is a pity. I was expecting something more fresh than a dried fossil. You're an odd duck, my man. We've come a long way, and I wouldn't want that to go in vain.
let's see, the femur bone is quite long, and his head is thick. That's almost certainly a man's bone. But its state is awful. There are several deep cuts and blunt markings. I say they came from the sturdy hands of a crude butcher. Someone took tremendous care to ensure he wouldn't survive. Judging by the condition of the pieces, it was a middle-aged individual. However, the remains themselves are not old. The man was still alive several years ago. I just hope you didn't dig up someone you murdered yourself. That kind of behavior couldn't be treated without delay. I have this recipe for a potion. No, no, please. I don't usually bury them. I let the crows do the work. Many thanks. I've never murdered anyone. Killed plenty. Never murder. Let's just, let's just keep it on task. I got what I came here for. Thank you. Um, where's the other dink? It, weren't you supposed to be in the tavern? I just walked by the tavern. I didn't see anybody in there. Oh, there you are, sitting all by your lonesome. Oh, and, um, what all is this? That looks like blueprints to, uh, maybe a storage shed or something? What you doing? I'm busy, go away. I've been to your house, Otker. Really? And why would you do that? Your father's worried about you. Yeah, so the whole part remembered he's related to somebody else besides the now perfect Oxbow family. Uh, you tell him I don't need his lectures. I'm gonna do what he should have done a long time ago. And what's that? I'm not telling you shit, leave me alone. I don't know. This kid might do something stupid if I come off all in his face. Yeah, and if I threaten, he could bolt. Alright, let's try to sidle up to him then. I know what it's like to feel abandoned like that. You don't need to do anything stupid. You know nothing about me or my people. Alright, enlighten me then. You think you're so much better than me. All of you people think that. That's why you're the disease. My father came here with an army that was supposed to cleanse the world of your kind. He's too weak and scared to act on it now. But I'm not. I'll make sure you pay. Look, man, I'm not even from this valley either. I, I don't even remember how the hell I got here. I know I came up with some kind of story, but I don't even remember what the hell it was. Yeah, what are you talking about? I need more information on this. Your king slaughtered my people, soaked the earth with their blood, and then what? He built this blasted town to celebrate? My ancestors' bones lie in the foundations, and you're celebrating. They threw my father in a cage like a dog. They may have broken his spine, but I won't go down so easily. I'll serve you the crowned head of the usurper on a plate. Um, I'm guessing that the valley does not have the same king as the oxbow. Tell me how I can help you bring justice. Oh. 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 I'm having flashbacks of getting a lady killed, and now it's looking like I have the option of getting a lot of people killed. Alright, let's still try to play this easy. You're talking about something that took place decades ago. It's a different world now. These people mean you no harm. They're your neighbors. You're just blind as stupid as my father. Get out of here. I'm done listening to your crap. Now it's time I did things my way. Odger, I'm gonna have to stop you. Plus 50. Okay, I'm just going to look at this right in front of you, by the way. The table is almost entirely covered with pieces of parchment, with various doodles and scribblings on it. Even though the author is staring at his writings with great focus, it's hard to decipher their content from afar. A little closer. You recognize Otker's house unskillfully sketched on one of the parchments. There's also small drawings of all those comrades that you came across in the back room. Among the scribblings, there's a sentence written, but it's impossible to read from this dis distance. Okay. Now you can clearly see the words, one hand washes the other. Before you manage to get any more information, Otker notices you peeping and angrily tells you to leave. Oh. In pursuit of the truth, saving private Otker... Um, well, at this point, I think it's safe to say there is going to be absolutely zero work done in my town. Hello? No, 
I don't. Okay, I listen. I'm sure. I'm sure they will. Yeah, positives all the way around. I thought you were a retailer, and I just started hitting buttons. Um, we. Hi, you're our actual a retailer. Great. And you do actually have a little bit of money. Oh right, I forgot all those beer bottles from his house. Um, yeah, we'll sell those. We're pretty much onto the copper still. Yeah, dump those. Yeah, dumped the spears. Want to see you soon. Okay, seven hundred bucks. We can fast travel. Uh, we we should have three in us, maybe. Because I think we're gonna need three. I can do it. I can save everybody. I can save this entire valley. Man, Rasmir never had to deal with this. Uh, Rasmir had to deal with a guy who bumped his head and didn't get a grain delivery. Do I have any traps? Of course not. I've been too busy to maintain the traps. I am never going to get level 10 hunting. It's just going to be a game that I just have 99% of the achievements and just one eludes me forever. Okay, I need you to not not have fertilizer. I, it's spring. It's day three. I need that. I need that in the ground. Now. You know how it is with monarchs. Do what they say, but do not get too close to them. Lady, I don't want to hear it about monarchs right now. I've got a lot of mixed things going on, and it feels like I've got about four hours to settle everything. We get, we might be having some Guy Fox stuff go on 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 our hands here in a minute. I I don't know. Where did the damn barn go? Wait, no, we want the storage shed first. Oh, that's only gonna take a full minute. Okay, that's done. Um, here. I know it normally should go into the uh, the storage shed, but whatever. Listen, you can pull out of that. So, fun tip. Uh, you don't need to put hose and scythes and seeds and etc. into this. Uh, you put them all into the main storage shed. Anything that you do put into there, though, if it is like a sickle or a hoe or an etc., it, like right there, I just wanted to save a little bit of time, you can do that. So they will still pull out of the farm shed if it's a farm shed related item. I probably just burned more time during the explanation of that than I actually saved by not walking all the way back to the, farm, or the storage shed. I'm not panicking, you're panicking. Also, we need now two male farmers, and we have no houses. Whatever. Now, we need to get bathed. We should probably eat something, too. All right, all cleaned up, all taken care of. Let's get out to Klonika, double time. All right, kid, I've got news about your dad. I wonder if it's possible. I don't know if it's anything you're going to want to hear, but I've got news. Yeah, hey, lady. You want to you wanna scream at me, too? Everybody else in this valley does. Oop, hey. Uh, hey, I'm back with word. It's good to see you. What news do you bring? Did you learn anything from the barber surgeon? The bones belong to a middle-aged man and are a few years old. And there's no doubt those remains have to belong to my father. Their location and other findings confirm this. Can you hand them over to me? I should return them to my mother as soon as I can. She got furious when she learned that I had lent them to someone. And with pleasure, they belong with your family. Thank you. I don't blame her for her reaction. I've opened an old wound and came close to an act of prof profanation. Listen... The profane has been flying today, man. Everything's profane. She suffered enough loss in her life. Yet there is something different in my mother's behavior this time. She may have been confused or enraged, but she had never questioned that these were Warmer's bones. What's more, she even threatened to bring justice to my father's murderers. Your uncle killed his brother, didn't he? I was almost sure that my father froze to death in the wild. No one ever told me the truth. Did at least Sedwin mention my father's cause of death? He did, and he was pretty sure about it. Sedwin found deep cuts to the bones and claimed that brute force was used to end your father's life. So it's true after all. Deep wounds, great force, a bloody axe, and a hidden body. This pattern is more clear than a trace of bleeding dough running through the snowy forest. Neaton, come with me. I wish to confront this traitor. I'm right behind you. Be careful. Oh... This has been, this has been a hell of a season. Well, it's all this gathering about, boy. You're too intimidated to speak to me alone? I've already talked with one of your friends. All of them are nothing but vagrants and scallymongers. I don't want to waste my time on crap allegations again. Save it. Your time is not wasted. 
but it's almost over in this village. I won't be listening to any of that nonsense again. Get out of my house, you brat. Oh, Needin, you're done, pal. I'm not moving a single step. You'll listen to what I have to say, murderer. You better watch. We went to the cottage in the woods and found your axe, rusted and covered with blood. I know what you did. They've stolen it from me. Damn hunters, they always... Got the bullshit. We found his chopped up bones near the caravan. You killed my father. You what, huh? Want to feed me more lies? Look me in the eyes. Look in my eyes and say you didn't do it. Jelbrick, you grew up so quickly. He was supposed to be your best friend, and you butchered him. I never... Yes, I did. Why? I don't know. I didn't mean to, at least. I think I didn't... That whole night is a big blur, a hazy nightmare. We went out drinking in the blizzard. We argued a bit. I was so hammered. You're gonna say I got drunk and killed... When I woke up, I had such a splitting headache, I could barely see. So it was the smell that I noticed first. Then I saw the red. Everything was red. And my brother laid still in the center. You sickened me. I don't blame you. I loathe myself from that day as well. I'm sorry, Jelbeck. There's nothing I can say in my defense. I heard enough. I can't even look at you right now. But you'll pay for what you've done. And don't try to run. There's no place in this realm I will not hunt you down. Wow. Hey. I need to speak with my mother. I'm really sorry. If there's anything I can do to help, just ask. Someone should check in on Pizraika, Needon's ex-wife. She just know the truth. Yeah, I, I'm on that, man. I also have what I'm expecting to be a terrorist plot going down, going on down to the south. I can do it. I can save everybody. Hi. Good day to you. Your straight face tells me something's bothering you. Are you need potions or herbs? I'll find something to loosen you up a bit in no time. Uh, no, there's no need for that. What brings you in, then? You're the former wife of Needon, right? I bring some grave news. Yes, I'm the unfortunate one, and I'm not surprised that he again reminds me of his existence. What's bothering this simple-minded brute this time? Is it about ripping seams in his boots because he slipped on his way to work? Spreading onion scent across his house? That big baby always afraid to bathe. It's more serious. He admitted to killing Warmer and hiding his butchered body a few years ago. Hurting the ones he used to love. That's him and all his glory. Are you hungry, darling? I have some soup stew in the cauldron. <laughs> I find your breakfast. Uh, no, no, thank you. You don't seem very moved by these revelations. As for the news you bring, Needon is long dead to me. There's nothing more he could do to make me detest him even more. Or even both of them. What do you mean by both of them? He and Warmer deserved each other. They used to disappear for their long escapades and hide robbed goods in the forest, constantly drunk and for the most part overconfident with their own abilities and craft. I tried to reach out to his good side, but I couldn't change him. One day he stopped drinking. There was hope, I thought, but from then on, living with him became unbearable. It's funny to think that in the end, I preferred him to his, in his numb state. The day he sobered up and started raising his fists, I realized I wasn't waiting for his, but for my own incentive to change. I moved out without any regrets. To my surprise, in spite of his insanity, Needham managed to do some things right. It's his children, all of them. They're precious gems. Skilled, clever, kind-hearted. They will survive just fine without him. They were raised by a brave and clever mother. Don't forget that. I'll see you around. Wait, there's something else you should know. I may even have some writings. Give me a moment to browse my things. In the meantime, bring me some water from the river. I have a good fresh water spot up the river that's not far from my hut. Go, my potion's about to boil away. Oh, man, the lights came on again. Locate water collection spot. Oh, man, I have a terrorist plot to foil as well. No pressure or anything. Yeah, check. The river you know it's a number of containers for storing water. You have no doubt this place herbalist draws water for work. Steps away from work, okay. You notice know, the water here is cleaner than downstream where locals pour filth to wash themselves. No wonder the herbalist takes water from upstream. Yeah. Grab one of the buckets to fill it with water. It's so transparent. 
can barely see a reflection in the filled bucket. That much water should suffice for Pezraika. I have a feeling we're getting teleported again. Huh. I'm not giving up on this terrorist plot. Oh, hi, I got your water. Thank you for water, Jerry. I hope you didn't hurt your back. All right. I've gathered the scribblings of my thoughts. I'm all ears. Everyone in the village can recall clearly what they were doing the day before the Great Blizzard struck. I, for instance, was cooking a special mushroom soup that was paid an unexpected visit by Warmer. I was probably one of the last people to speak with him while he was still alive, now that I think about it. Anyway, the hunter came with an unusual request. He declared proudly that it's time he got himself another heir, and asked with a beaming smile on his face for some more fertility infusion. I didn't even read what I just said. Warmer mentioned that this infusion had helped him and his wife before, when they almost lost hope. Baby Gerald Peck was born, healthy and strong. Slaw was supposedly praised the medicine for working miracles. There was one major problem in the story. An infusion of that kind doesn't exist. Or at least I've never heard about it. Slava indeed visited me frequently before her son was born, but I've usually provided her with herbal concoctions to help calm her down and sleep at night. Oh, no. Oh, I see where this is going, and I'm not happy about it. Uh, Warmer was probably not happy to hear that. He instantly turned pale as a ghost and refused to say anything else. He then left my workshop and headed home. I assume he had a lot of explaining to do with his wife. When I woke up the next day, he was already missing, after having set off for his snowy woods. Losing his best companion tore Needon apart. He had another step to his demise. But there was something more. The final straw beside his sudden decision to give up drinking. There were some unburnt fragments of parchment I found in the hearth at our house. Since Needon's fate is almost certainly sealed now, I don't need these shreds of notes anymore. They may shed some light on our village's leaders. Those paragons of virtue. Oh, this whole situation is a lot more complicated than I realized at first. I'll get to the bottom of it. Uh, terrorist plot. Don't forget. Lights are on. It's very late. Wait. You just said talk to... Uh, hi. Oh, it's you again. Good to see you, my friend. What are you doing here? Where's, where's your brother? Where's Slava? Hold your horse by so many questions. My brother is preparing for a departure. We're moving to more prosperous realms. Are you on the run again? What do you think we are, common crooks? The woods became too crowded. A hermit needs a lot more space to operate. I brought some of our supplies to sell. We can't carry this much anyway. I hope to meet the leader of the village, but those local cheapskates say she went north some time ago. That should call bad luck. I missed her on my way here. I only wanted to ask her for permission to sell. I wish to do it nice and legal and leave this place with a clean record. You know, I wouldn't like to have any authority stay on our trail as we leave. Yeah, I need to locate Slava. Thanks for helping. Uh, that was easy. We can call it even. I don't trust you further than I can throw you. I don't... What the hell is up with you and your weird semi-mute brother? Well, it's 9 o'clock at night. We're running the direct opposite way of the terrorist plot. And there is not any way on God's green earth that we're making it to bed tonight. Oh, where are we going? Everything stays in the family. Yeah, lady. I'm taking all of your crap. You've got some explaining to do. It's over. Warmer finally rests in peace, along with his belongings and the wretched acts that ended his life. This should put an end to your snooping where you weren't supposed to. I won't forget what an insult your running around with my late husband's remains was to my family name and local authority. Carried in a bag, like a mere item. Lady, everything is your fault. And what makes you the paragon of respect and honor? You're living in a web of lies. I spent years trying to bring law and order to this village. That's ironic. Finding a thread of understanding between half-feral hunters and simple-minded lumberjacks required harsh measures and impossible decisions. You have no idea what it takes to be a true leader. I know it triggered Warmer's departure. He was looking for a remedy from the herbalist, Pazika, which you made up. That foul herb lady tell you that? She drinks too many of her own potions and speaks out of her mind. Needn't did well to leave that lunatic. 
I care as little about her as opinion as I do about yours. We're done here. Go back to your hole, or wherever you nest. Oh, all of these are nice. There was no need for medicine. You weren't a barren wench after all, as Warmer used to call you and blame you for all his failures. Who told you that? Stumbled upon some interesting writings. It's all there. You filthy bastard, how dare you? Sheriff Helk should know who his real father is. He deserves to know. I'm not even going to give you the option. I'm, I, I'll tell him myself. Silence. That would distract him from his preparations. He has to become leader of this village at all costs. He's always been better than Warmer in every way. His father was a disappointment. Stop bringing him back. Warmer was an unmatched hunter, yes, but he lacked in every other area, even as a husband. How long was I supposed to wait? Until I am withered and barren? I did what I needed to. The boy was strong. The village lineage was secured and undisputed, and its leader proudly wandered the woods as usual, knowing he had a promising heir, all because of my sacrifice. You sacrificed nothing. You wanted it all for yourself, that's the truth, at least own it. No, all I wanted was for my child to be better than him. Warmer didn't have any sense of leadership in him. He could have managed the riskiest hunting expedition, but could neither handle nor understand his people's everyday needs. He was almost never here when his people needed him, when I needed him. It wasn't long before everyone's hopes rested on my shoulders. Needn, on the other hand, may not be the brightest, but I could always count on him. He was near whenever I needed him. At least until that cursed winter night when Warmer figured out the truth. What really happened? Well, we know what happened. Warmer was furious. I never witnessed his ferocity in him. He rushed at me and nearly choked the life out of me. But even in his rage, he wasn't that kind of man. So he released me and ran to the woods. It took me a while to come to my senses. I then immediately alarmed Needon. They were still good friends and respected comrades, after all. There was a part of me that fooled myself into thinking that this fire could still be put out. Time went by, and none of them returned. I could not stand waiting any longer and followed their fresh trail of the snow. I had no doubts about where Warmer was going. And yet you repeated the fake story of his disappearance for years. I reached the building only to encounter the most pitiful sight. Two prominent leaders hammered, drunk, in deep argument. Warmer could barely stand straight while Needham was on all fours. Before I could even speak, Warmer raised his axe, babbling something about justice. I didn't know what to do. I just acted. I threw myself between the two, who were both part of my life. I am preventing the season from changing. I grabbed Warmer's wrists as he was about to split Needham's skull in half with the woodcutter's own axe. I'll spare you the rest as I wish to never relive it again. That day... I prevented my son from becoming an orphan. No, I'm not giving you the out, lady. You had so many opportunities to do the right thing, to get in front of this. Absolutely not. You know, last season I said that everybody could be redeemed. This season, there's a couple of you that got me questioning things. Murder is murder, no matter the motivation. You should be hanged for what you did. But put a noose around my neck yourself. Let's see how different your sleepless nights would be. It's easy to judge when you weren't there. I ran barefoot through the snow for hours until I got back to myself and managed to sneak to my house. Needham returned the next day. He believed he was responsible for his friends, so you let him take the fall for it on top of everything else. I could not reason with him anyway. He became withdrawn and half dead inside. So you had an affair with your husband's brother, deluded your husband into thinking his kid was his, you pit two brothers against each other, killed one of them, and let the other one take the blame for it. Everything about you is an absolute soulless monster. Of course he was dead inside. Soon after, I had to take over as leader of a village. I have never brought up this dark event, and it stayed like that until you came along. A murderer who saves a life and an adulterer who fixes marriage problems. Yeah, how do you people even know who you are? I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of torn between these two. One wrong decision started the decay of a well-off family. Maybe you deserved it, but I feel sorry for all of you. You have no regrets. Lady, I hope they banish you from this valley. I worked hard to wash this blood stain off my hands. Just please don't make my son see me as a monster. This would kill me. Lady, you're already a monster. 
but he'll learn the truth, and what he does with it is what he sees fit. You learned what you wanted, now leave me be. Well, love, but at this point, I'd love to have a loveless one at least. My man, do you have any idea what I've just been through? Anyway, thank you so much for joining me in this spring in Medieval Dynasty. We have a terrorist plot to clear up. Oh, and a revelation to give to the kid. Anyway. I'm going to take a nap. I'll see you guys in, like, an hour or two. Good morning, everybody. This is Seven. Bye.